In this video, we're going to take a quick tour of Multifamily Modeling's Apartment Development Model. To start, the Intro tab features a formatting legend to get you comfortable with the differences between fonts throughout the model. Also, the blue tabs are where your inputs are located, and the green tabs are where your outputs are located. This workbook features a one-page development model, allowing you to quickly determine a yield on cost and other basic profit metrics. So you'll start by inputting your land acquisition costs, your development budget, your construction loan interest inputs, your operating reserve inputs, followed by your rent roll and your untrended operating pro forma. The model will then give you your untrended and trended yield on costs, along with equity multiples, profit margin, and a spread between the yield on cost and the market cap rate. Plus, there's a quick stabilized cash on cash estimate over here for when your, pro uh, your project is fully stabilized and leased up. Next up, the summary tab is a recap of the entire deal in one place. It summarizes the sources and uses of funds, general project information, sales summary, and three distinct return summaries, plus there's an IRR sensitivity table. And scrolling down, there's a full project development summary outlining both unlevered and levered cash flows. The Assumptions tab is where the majority of your inputs are located. The Project Timeline is where you control the project schedule, and in cell E20, right here, you'll choose whether or not to refinance the project upon stabilization. The Project Timeline Summary, in gray, has named cells that feed into the rest of the model. Scrolling down are your projected operating expenses. In cell E57, you can choose to calculate expenses based on the individual line item budget, right here, the expenses per square foot input, or the expenses per unit input. There's also a tax incentive option by which you can abate or reduce taxes for a set period of time. Below the operating expenses are your operating assumptions, including concessions and other income, and an IRR sensitivity table. Back at the top, we have construction financing, which is calculated via circular references. Cell N26 is where you control the loan to cost, right here. We recommend editing this manually. The effective loan to cost is your total project loan to cost, including interest and operating reserves. And in this model, you also have the option to utilize a floating interest rate, which is right here. Finally, there's a section to input assumptions for the refinance and calculate the total debt at time of refinance, right down here. The unit mix tab is straightforward. You input your project's unit mix and it feeds into the rest of the model. In the budget and schedule tab, you'll input your budget and choose the allocation schedules for each respective budget item. Choose the allocation by using a drop-down list in column I, over here. In column K, right here, there are checks for each line item to verify that they sum to 100%. This tab then feeds into the Sources and Uses tab, which we'll cover next. The top of the Sources and Uses tab calculates the dollar amounts for each of the budget inputs in the Budget and Schedule tab. Below is where the sources of funds are calculated. This model funds equity first, and then debt. The construction loan calculations in this tab are circular, so we've added checks to verify that all the calculations line up. Everything we've discussed is rolled up into the monthly pro forma tab, which then rolls up again into the annual pro forma tab. The monthly tab calculates both the unlevered and levered returns to the project, and at the top, there's a lease up schedule, which is used to time the cash flows. And then at the bottom of this tab, there's a separate section which calculates the untrended net operating income. Then everything is rolled up from the monthly tab into this annual pro forma statement. We find it easiest to review the deal in the annual pro forma tab. And at the bottom here is your untrended net, net operating income, which is also rolled up from the monthly pro forma tab. There's also a section here that outlines your net cash flow, IRR, equity multiple, and NPV for the project, just to give you a brief snapshot of the returns. 
The sensitivity analysis tab calculates the IRR right here and the NPV right here for 10 full years. You can use this tab to determine your hold period and whether or not it makes sense to refinance or sell upon stabilization. The waterfall tab has a four tier IRR based waterfall. Returns are calculated on a deal level basis and cross checked and then distributed to the partners, GP and LP respectively. And then down here, the model breaks out the total developer promote to determine how much the sponsor's whole dollar profits come from the promote itself. And finally, the financing tab is where the permanent financing calculations are located. These are only used if you turn on the refinance option in the assumptions tab. Thanks for taking the tour and let us know if you have any questions.